Thanks for checking in with me on the Connecticut state budget. As many of you know, the state budget is pretty ugly. Um, our new governor, Daniel Malloy, has recently promoted or put out a budget that I want to tell you a little bit about how I feel about it. There's a little bit of good and a lot of bad. The good in Governor Malloy's budget is that there are no one-time gimmicks. Previously, we were looking at budgets that borrowed money to pay for operating costs or used up our entire rainy day fund to pay for operating costs. The good news is that Governor Malloy's budget doesn't do this. And by the way, I voted against those budgets that did the one-time gimmicks previously. But the bad news is that the budget that the legislature is looking at right now actually increases total spending. You might find that hard to believe when we have over a three and a half billion dollar deficit, but it's true. The total spending would go from $19.3 billion up to $19.7 billion. This would be the largest tax increase in Connecticut's history since the implementation of the income tax. And no one is spared in this tax and spend program. The income taxes will go up, business taxes will go up, clothing. We will start to be taxed on clothing that is currently tax exempt for our families and our children. Alcohol taxes go up, energy taxes go up, and as you know, we have some of the highest energy rates in the country, and even this would go up. Our residents are paying some of the highest taxes in the country, so I don't understand how the governor or how this legislature can expect people to pay more taxes during this difficult time. We really need to restore some sanity here in Hartford. We simply can't increase the size of state spending for another day. We have to decrease what we spend here in Hartford. It's pretty simple. If you don't make the money, you shouldn't be spending it. I'm going to be part of a working group here with the House Republicans that are going to try to find, not try to find, we will find an alternative way to do business in the state of Connecticut. We will be putting forth proposals that might be a little out of the box, but I think that's what we need. Let's sell some state assets. Let's really consolidate agencies. Not in a phony way where you put two agencies under one title and still do business as usual, but let's really downsize state government to a place that you can afford, that you and I can afford our state government. We need to do a hiring freeze that's real, and we need to look at the pensions and the programs that we can no longer possibly afford to continue. My name is Penny Bakiaki. You elected me. I'm here for you, and that's what I'll be working on. Thanks.